You know, our goal with Madden NFL 12 was to provide a product that was really true to the NFL, true to its fans, true to the game, true to the sport. We really wanted to provide an experience that our hardcore fans would love. So we wanted to provide something in every aspect of the game, from gameplay to depth modes to online to presentation. We've literally touched every aspect of Madden NFL 12. You know, gameplay is the bread and butter of Madden. You know, we have to make sure that that experience is a lot of fun. You know, I'll highlight a few things. The first is dynamic player performance. This is a feature that's going to add in, in addition to the ratings, we're going to have new dynamic tendencies and traits that's going to fundamentally change the way you play Madden. You'll be able to change the traits of certain AI players. You'll be able to change the traits of, of the different players in the field. It will make every game you play feel a little bit different than the previous game. On top of that, a brand new collision system that makes the hits feel much more impactful. Brand new offensive and defensive coverages uh, to make defensive play that much stronger. Uh, new game flow you know, system in the game. Top to bottom, all new gameplay. You know, coverage in the past, we've gotten a lot of feedback on it. And I think the biggest point of feedback was the fact that, you know, like you said, zone coverage was not was not the best. I myself, uh, in fact, always preferred to cover called man plays. So this year, we completely scrapped our AI there. We, we completely rewrote it. And I think the biggest, easiest way to explain it, and the biggest change is the fact that our defenders are now aware of where their teammates are. Uh, in, in past Madden, you would know what your cover, you know what your zone is, and you would just hunker down in that zone. And you wouldn't be—you'd be almost oblivious to what's happening around you. Now you know that you have a linebacker here in a hook zone. You know that you have a safety behind you in a deep zone, and you actually play with that knowledge. So you know if you have defensive coverage on the backside, that you can actually play up a little more shallow. That change alone has made our defensive coverage just that much stronger. You know, suction has been a big problem in the Madden franchise for a number of years. If you look at any review or you look at a number of fan sites, people complain about suction blocking, suction tackling. Really what it is is at about two to three yards apart, the game would look to see where players are heading, would play an animation, and you would get sucked into that animation. Because our animations now don't get triggered until contact is made, and this is true for both tackles, blocking, as well as catching. Because the animation doesn't get triggered until contact is made, the feeling of suction is now gone from the game. Hits feel much more uh, impactful. Uh, they look much better as a result, and, and you also have a lot more control than you've had before. So overall, suction's gone. Collisions are, are much improved. Franchise and Superstar are two of the most played modes in the game. We, we look at almost 90% of the Madden audience has played Franchise at some point. At the same time, if you look at the reviews and you look at fan sites, people have complained over the years that we haven't touched the mode in a meaningful way. And I'm happy to report that in, if you combine the two features together, we've added over 100 new improvements and features to both of those modes. So in Superstar, for example, we added an RPG element. So in between each game, you get a certain number of points you can allocate to your player. It feels more like an RPG. In franchise mode, as an example, now in preseason, you have an expanded roster and you have to cut that roster down at, after each and every game. Details like that are really what make those modes incredibly deep and authentic, and we've got a lot of content there to excite our fans. You know, presentation is hugely important. I mean, when you watch a broadcast on Sunday, which we all do, uh, you want to have that same experience when you're playing Madden. You want it to look like an NFL game. We actually embedded ourselves with CBS for a number of games this season. We sent our, desire, our entire design team uh, into a production truck to sit with the director, ask the director questions, talk to the cameraman. Why are you shooting this player? Why are you shooting that player? What are the typical stories you would follow? We learned the mechanics of shooting uh, an NFL broadcast. On top of that, we're adding a brand new technology called Decam. And this technology actually allows us to take actual camera work by NFL film cinematographers and drop it directly into Madden. Instead of using the motion capture technology to capture the, the camera guy, we actually load up the actual camera rig with those markers, so we're capturing the camera movement. It results in cameras in the game that look incredibly realistic. You capture all the subtle movement of the camera, uh, you actually get the, the right type of lens. Everything that the cinematographer is capturing ports directly in the game. And you combine those two together. You combine the presentation and decam, and you have the, the most amazing looking uh, version of, of Madden NFL that we've ever provided. Based on our true to the NFL mantra, I think no matter what happens with, a, with a, the lockout situation, we have a Madden experience coming on August 30th that is, that is going to appeal to our core audience. On top of that, if the NFL decides at some point uh, that they're going to truncate the season, the great thing about online, the great thing about the consoles in this generation is uh, based on what they do, if they shorten the season, we can probably follow that up with a patch or an update at some point to actually follow the NFL. We have to see what happens, though. You know, so at this point, our hope uh, at EA, of being great partners with the NFL and the Players Association, is that they come to terms between now and the start of the season. I'm confident they will. So my hope is that it doesn't come to that.
Madden NFL 12 is a much more realistic version than Madden NFL 11. We've got dynamic player performance that makes the game, each game you play, feel very different than the previous game. you got a new collision system that looks amazing. You've got all new zone coverages and man coverages in the game that makes playing defense that much more fun. The presentation really is top notch. With this DCAM technology, the game looks better than it ever has before. We've actually got major improvements to franchise and superstar mode. We've got improvements to online that we're not even talking about yet that we're going to announce post E3. It's the most feature rich version of Madden we've ever released before. So if you've got 11, you should definitely check out 12 because everything in the game is just that much better. Madden NFL 12 is going to be coming to virtually every console, PS3, 360, PlayStation 2, PSP, etc., all on August 30th.